Hey everyone, this is Shanita. Welcome back to another wash day. I am uh, just getting ready to style my hair and thought I would bring you along for the beginning this time since it's been a while since I've done that. If you have stumbled up on this channel and you have never seen any of my videos, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you clicking on and I hope that you will be able to take something from this video that will be helpful to you or to someone that you know. So I just finished rinsing the deep conditioner out of my hair and I thought that I would just bring you along for the beginning of my styling. My hair feels so good. I recorded another video uh, using the uh, Main Crush Detox that I did on my hair and scalp. And so this is the wash day associated with that video. If you have not seen that video about detoxing and clarifying your hair, I will definitely link it in the description box. So be sure that you uh, click the link in the description box and then you can see that video look I've already just started applying products um, I haven't told you what I'm gonna use but let's just do that and you can watch at the same time and maybe I can actually get this video down to a reasonable uh, length so I'm gonna be using uh, I figure since I did that detox with main crush that I could just go ahead and use the rest of their products in this wash day since I haven't used them in a while. So I am using the Fairy Godmother Leave-In. It is one of my favorites. I'm gonna show it to you if you haven't seen it. This was during that time when the world was going crazy, you guys, in 2020 and people were running out of um, containers. So a lot of these containers may be different from what they have now. So the Leave-in is a very, very nice creamy leave-in. It says it moisturizes, conditions, defines, detangles, and strengthen. And as you know, some of these products kind of go in and out depending on the season. And I'm not sure whether this one will actually be on the website when you see this. Well, actually, because it will be up. Um who knows for how long so whenever you see it it may actually be there because you may not see this video until the season that it's in or maybe out and so it may or may not be there if it's not there just watch for it, it will be back in the alternating season because it is a fave by everybody and I don't think it's going anywhere so as you can see on my low 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 porosity hair how this really does sink in. I've said this a hundred times. For those of you who are new, my hair is really low porosity around the crown of my head. So I always get product that just kind of sits on top, right in the front area, and I just expect it. So one of the things that I have learned to do is to just put the leave-in in, and I just kind of give it time to absorb into my hair by just literally putting it back up in a twist and going through my head one section at a time just like this so I just do this to all the sections of my hair and then I will put my plastic cap back on and let it just absorb into my hair for about 30 minutes or so I'll just kind of walk around and do errands or whatever and then I'll come back and do the styling because um, when you have low porosity hair that product just does not want to absorb in so sometimes you either have to put some heat on it or just give it some time and it will start to absorb in so I'll do another one of these sections uh, if you get a big section, this one's not so big, but I don't like to miss areas of my hair. So even if I get a section in that size, I will break it up so that I can make sure I get product on all of the hair strands. So this is what the Fairy Godmother is like. It's so soft, just to the touch. It has a very lotiony consistency so sort of a medium consistency feels soft like lotion it has in it aloe juice water hemp shea butter avocado honey castor 
Irish Moss, BTMS, Fragrance, and Optifin. Those are the ingredients. So this went in really well. You see how it's just literally disappearing into my hair. Very, very rare for me to um, see that. Usually product just sits right on top. So I am going to add the leave-in all over. And then I am going to twist with the unicorn curls because I haven't used this in forever as well. It is one of my favorite stylers. If you have any products from them, you probably have that one in your stash, especially if you have any type four hair because it is spectacular. If you are a person with tight kinks and coils and have a problem keeping moisture in your hair, that unicorn curls is one of my faves. So I am going to layer the leave-in with the unicorn curls and then I'm gonna add a drop of two of the daily oil on top of the unicorn curls just to seal it all in. And then I'm gonna add the growth elixir to my scalp at some point during this process. Sometimes I do it when I'm styling, sometimes I do it right after I deep condition. I just get it in wherever it, where, whenever I can get it in. So, um, I try, I'm trying not to go too heavy with the leave-in. I love, love leave-in conditioner. I love how it really sets the hair up for hydration for the week. So I can tend to overdo it. And especially when I can't see it like this. When it just absorbs so quickly, it's just hard to tell that it's there. So again, I'm going to just section this up. I'm going to twist it up like this, put it out of the way, put my plastic cap on for uh, half an hour or so, and then I'm going to come back and twist with the unicorn curls. Um, I may not come back to show you guys this. You know what? I'm going to show you one. Let, let me just show you one. That ain't even right. Just come on here and show some leave-in conditioner. Everybody know what leave-in conditioner is. I love, love, love my detangling brush that is soft and flexible. These have been the best thing that has ever come into my life <laughs> for detangling. So I have about three. There is not a time that I detangle that I don't use one. Everywhere I might do hair, I have one in my, in the room because it's just perfect and it's flexible and it does a great job of not breaking your hair. And a lot of companies have them. This one came from Carrie J and it is a little more softer. The material's a little bit different from the ones that I have gotten from other companies. This one is just, I don't know how to describe it because it, they look the exact same, but there's something about this one. It's just very soft, very flexible. The other one does this, it separates, but it just feels a little bit more rigid. I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna make my twist about this size. You can see that. And I'm gonna show you this unicorn curls because you know how I come back to show you stuff in the end and I can't find the product. So here's what this looks like, if you can see it. So this is my, probably my favorite styler from them because my hair loves how thick and rich this is. It is not too rich where it's gonna sit on the hair strands, but it definitely helps to lock in the moisture, add some moisture and kind of seal it all at one time. It has in it water, aloe vera gel, shea butter, sunflower, marshmallow root, slippery elm, fenugreek, honey, BTMS, fragrance, and optifin. So those are the ingredients for that unicorn curls. And then, as I said, like three drops of the daily oil and just rub that on top. And I'll go back probably. And then I can actually do it at the end sometimes, just add this growth elixir in my scalp and massage it in. But separate these two strands. 
separate them into two strands. So two distinct sections here. And you wanna hold your hand down near the root of your hair. Not tight, but taut enough that you get a good grip so that you are securing a really good base for your twist. You don't want to do all that work and then realize that you, that it's just gonna unravel because it's not secured well at the root. And as, as you see, a ton of people do, I take a little bit more and add this to the ends because as I twist, rub down, rub down, you really are rubbing off a lot of the product at the end. So I added just a tad bit more and I'm actually probably gonna make the rest of these twists a little bigger. Now that my hair has gotten a little longer, honey, all this twisting, whew, it is something else. So give it a little twirl at the end and I do a little extra at the top of my hair too because this low porosity area in the front does not curl well. It does not um, have any natural curl. Like it almost looks like it's got heat damage. I don't use heat in my hair, so I know it's not heat damage. It's just this part of the hair. It just hangs completely straight, and I have to force it to curl. So this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my hair. This is These products are so soft. Like, it just feels so soft and so... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, it's going to have so much bounce and so much body the, the product is just lightweight that's what i'm looking for it's just a very lightweight product um a lot of the products i use are really heavy and that's okay my hair prefers those i'm not complaining about that but this just feels really really lightweight and i've noticed a lot of changes in my hair since the last time i used these so we're gonna see how this goes so I am going to go away and I'm going to finish these twists. I'm going to let them dry and I will be back in a few days and we will see if uh, my hair still loves Main Crush the way it always did. I will see you guys in the next clip. Okay guys, I have more Black Friday items that I am going to show you. I don't know whether I am going to combine this video or completely separate them, but I'm gonna record them because I'm dying to use these and I vowed that I would not use them until I showed them to you guys. So um, these items are from Kai Blends. I hope I'm saying that right. It's K-A-I and I don't know whether she pronounced it Kai or K, um, but this is a company I've been eyeing for forever. I see the consistency of her products online and I think, oh my God, that just looks so, so freaking luscious. So for Black Friday, I bit the bullet and I went ahead and got me some. I got two of the pre-poos and I believe this is a new product. It is called Too Easy Pre-Poo. I'm gonna take the plastic off because it's giving a glare. So here's what the pre-poo looks like. It's called the Pre-Workout Boost. I love that. And uh, everybody knows what a pre-poo is, a pre-shampoo. Should I open it? Oh, uh, okay, I'm gonna. Here's what it, oh my gosh. It smells like sunshine and mint. Yes, sunshine and mint. But here is what it looks like. It's not oily, it's not thick, but it is a great, it is thick actually. Um, I'm not gonna dip my fingers in there because they're not clean. And I don't know, it just looks like it's going to smooth on really good. Let's see what's in it. Water infused with Irish moss, uh, aloe juice, mango seed butter, behendromonium methyl sulfate, and satiral alcohol, coconut oil, glycerin, brahmi powder, marshmallow root extract, kaolin clay, cinnamon oil. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. I can... It smells so good, you guys. It's one of those that it reminds me of, you know how some pre are slippery. They have that gelatinous um, feel to them. And there's some that look really thick, but then they smooth on the hair so beautifully and melt tangles like that. This is what I get from this, just, just from looking at it, just from smelling it and from seeing the consistency on her uh, Instagram. So I will put this to the side. I'm going to use this. 
very next wash day. This this is gonna this is gonna be there even if I don't get to try the rest of them because I have not been doing pre poos that regularly. But I remember when I first came on this channel, I love pre poo and I love doing them. And they just started to take extra time and it was getting to the point I barely had time to wash my hair, so I took the pre shampoo treatment out. But I can tell you there's a difference. When your hair is already moisturized and detangled before you start washing your hair, it makes the rest of it a breeze. So I'm going to go back to it even if I have to start pre-pooing the night before and then start my uh, shampoo in the next day. So I got two of the pre-poos and I got the Sunshine Buttercream. This is what I went there to get because this is the item I've been eyeing all 2021, all the um, year. Cause it is a buttercream and you know i love a buttercream i love a buttercream it's like everyone i've ever used has been so so good and i thought why do i need another one well when i read these ingredients it was like just do it just just do it so i did this one features shea butter black currant seed oil and moringa oil it says it is an extreme moisturizer sealer and repair and that was the reason that um it got my attention because it's that thick rich consistency that um you can use on top of a leave-in like and that's it it's, it's that kind and my hair loves those type of thick moisturizers where well, it is going to uh, add a little moisture it is going to seal in what moisture is in there and just give your hair all kind of moisturizing goodness for the rest of the week i'm so excited to use this some of the ingredients in here are water shea butter black currant oil castor oil moringa oil aloe juice uh, satiro alcohol, there's sweet almond oil, rosemary oil, lavender, lemongrass. I'm kind of jumping all over the place. But this is to be used every other day to hydrate, prevent breakage, seal, and grow longer, stronger hair. It's great for lock rolling, twisting, hair dryness, sheen, and kids, and styling kids' hair. So I'm not going to open this one, guys. You're going to have to come back to see what this one looks like. And the other item that was in my box, and I'm so gracious, is the Sun Ray Mask. I think the this facial mask was a new item that popped on the scene right before the holidays, if I'm correct. But it says it's high in vitamin C. It's a clay mask. It is for normal to oily skin. And it is the um, typical mask that you put on, let sit on the face for a bit, and then rinse out it has what clays let's see it has kaolin clay as well but there's also a turmeric root powder in here aloe juice camellia leaf extract vitamin b5 tea tree oil citrus oil i'm kind of jumping all over the place gooseberry extract but look at this it's not a powder it's already mixed so this is one of those you literally just take out, swipe on, let it sit, and then rinse back out. It's so pretty. The label's so gorgeous. And that is what I am really into these days because I am appreciating that extra step. You ever just ch chose to not do your facial routine because you were so tired and you had that extra step of having to make mix water? Like, that sounds so lazy. But when you are dead dog tired, that just seems like something that's going to take the last ounce of energy you got so I appreciate that this is already mixed together and it is a two ounce container and if you've ever used masks like this they go on and on and on you get so many uses out of this so Kai Blends thank you so much I appreciate the how fast it was how beautifully it was shipped I didn't have a single issue. It was one of the smoothest uh, transactions I had over the holiday. So I'm so grateful. And if you want to uh, come back and see how these perform, then you need to subscribe so that when they pop up, then you will know. Because I pretty much, you guys have taken all of my older products and kind of set them aside to give away. I'm so anxious to use my new stuff. So be sure that you're subscribed so that you'll know when this comes back up and we will take a look at it together and then you can see what it's like so you can go get you some. I will talk to you soon you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hello everybody. This is Shanita. Welcome back to another video. It is my wash day and I'm going to get straight into it because 
you know I'm short on time as I always am but I had not washed my hair in over two weeks and I had so many tangles in my hair so much shed hair was in there I spent so much time in the shower trying to get all that shed hair out. It was a nightmare. I really, really suggest if you struggle with tangle hair, you really need to get it out and get that shed hair out and condition it every single week. It will save you so much trouble. Um, I just didn't have time last weekend. So this, this time I had to take the time and get two weeks worth of shed hair out and two weeks worth of tangles. It wasn't fun. So what I am going to do in this video is talk as I go, first of all, <laughs> because my hair is wet and I'm, it dries out so fast and I'm trying to uh, really give it a get, good deep condition. So this video is all over the place. I am going to be using products from several different lines because I am already getting my Black Friday 2021 uh, products in that I ordered. And you guys, I still have products from Black Friday 2020. Who else? Who else says Black Friday 2020? products raise your hand I cannot be the only one you're not gonna make me feel shame on this video I know that some of you still had some um, I am using this one by uh, curl of essence and the reason I'm using this is because these have a shorter shelf life than um, most of my other products these need to be refrigerated that's the way to kind of extend the life of it and this has literally been in my refrigerator for an entire year <laughs> An entire year. I don't even think she makes this particular deep conditioner anymore. It is the Neem and Henna Hair Thickening Deep Conditioner. Why I even bought that, I do not know. I do not have uh, any thinning hair. Not by a long stretch. Uh, this has neem powder in it, neem oil, henna powder, nettle, amla oil, argan oil, olive oil, almond oil, cactus oil, sunflower oil. So it sounds like it's going to be a little bit strengthening, which I probably need to think about this because again, my hair has not been, I, I mean, I've done nothing to it in almost three weeks. And so it really needs a good moisturizing deep conditioner. And this with all of these Ayurvedic ingredients really make me feel like this one is more strengthening. I would probably use this when I'm doing like a protein week when my hair needs a little bit of protein. It says it thickens, grows, and repairs. It doesn't give instructions as to when to use it, but just because I'm familiar with the ingredients, I know that these are strengthening ingredients but her stuff tends to be really moisturizing I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it what I'll do is just uh, be mindful of how long I keep it in and I won't keep it in over 20 minutes or so because I don't want that you know hard strengthening uh, property to my hair it says leave it in for 15 to 20 minutes and yeah that is what I will do so here's what it looks like. I had to check it out, make sure it still looks like it will be okay, and it does. Still smells good. Wow, and Neem smells so bad. How she make this smell good, I'm not really sure. It Oh, it has a fragrance in it. It doesn't say which, which uh, essential oil or which fragrance it is, but it does smell really good. And it has Liquid Germol Plus in it, which is a preservative. So this one, said oh maybe it was another one one of them i pulled up said it had a shelf life of three to five months this one doesn't have that but this one does have a preservative plus it was in the refrigerator so i feel good about it but here is the consistency of it it looks almost like a mud and if you look really closely you can see the little specks in there probably the neem powder anyway my hair is dripping all over me and i'm losing all of what little hydration is in it so I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this and as she said I love that she gave those instructions because that is how I do deep conditioners anyway I part off smaller sections and I apply it from root to in for any of you that are new welcome I'm so glad you stopped by so so glad you're here and I haven't recorded a video in so long so I will go through some other primary things that I used to talk about in the beginning of the channel when I was 
um, really good about issuing tips um, about how to grow and care for hair. I will just do that since I'm sitting here anyway. So as you can see, I did exactly what she said. But this is how I do my deep conditioners, always all of them. I part off sections and I spread it from root to end. Sometimes it's so easy to take a big section like this and then just start rubbing it through, but all you're doing is getting it on these outer hairs. And then on the inside, it can still, um, you know, look dry and have no conditioner here. Mine is, is covered very well. But even like in the part there, as crooked as it is, I even go down there because it's so easy to miss the roots of your hair when you're doing it in a hurry or you're just trying to get through the process. So I love deep conditioning my hair. It is the one that has made it the absolute healthiest. So on days when I have time to, first of all, try not to do it unless it's a day when I have time so that I'm not, you know, pulling and, um, just being really hard on it and cause so much stress because that's what causes it to be so weak and break. So you wanna be very, very careful when you are handling your hair, not just in the deep conditioning process, but all of it. Be extremely, extremely careful. I've said this many times, but in cosmetology school, they told me to handle that hair, especially curly hair, like it's a fine silk. You wouldn't handle your fine fabrics all, all rough and, and just pulling and stretching and not caring for it. You handle it very gently. So I don't have the time like I used to, to really go nice and slow. Time has gotten a little busy. So you might not see me going as slow, but trust me, I'm being gentle. I always trim or file my nails so that they don't uh, pull and snag and cause extra breakage. Who needs that? And again, down to the roots. These, uh, this particular deep conditioner has ingredients in it that if you get it on your scalp, it's not a problem. All of these are natural ingredients that won't, shouldn't cause you any issue. I would say 99% of people won't have any issues with any of these. So I just put this on each section, just like I'm doing from root to end. I twist it back up. You don't have to do this. I just do it to just get it out of the way. It pins to my scalp and I take a bobby pin and secure it down just so that it's out of the way. And then I will come back when I finish all of these sections and we will continue to keep going because at this point of the video, I have no idea what product I'm going to be using to um, style with. I've been getting those new ones in and it's so tempting. It's so tempting to open them and start using them. But that I'm on a quest right now to start using up. I gave away so many products over the years. I've sold some, I've given away so much, and I still have products that I have not opened since last year. So I am on a quest to use up 20 20s products wait 20 yeah 2020 products they they really would be the ones i bought around black friday and the holidays of 2020 so that i can get these things out of my refrigerator that i completely forget about because i got a little special refrigerator i keep my little beauty things in and so if i don't see them sometimes it's just out of mind so I'm gonna use those up out of my refrigerator so you can look forward to seeing more products from Curl of Essence because I have more of hers and I ordered more in this last Black Friday sale. They were brand new products that she came out with. I love her stuff so much. When she had that sale, I got more. Um, I got more products because I love them so. And also I have products in my refrigerator from Twisted Aloe. So you'll be seeing those coming up soon. Uh, I have some from Cur Nur Creations, N-U-R Creations. I have those in my fridge. So I'm on a quest to use up those in my refrigerator. Like this is just ridiculous. I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed, but it is what it is. Um, 
but I am not buying anymore. You guys will be so proud of me when I start telling you how little I got for Black Friday 2021. I had to give myself a pat on the back. I, I, I did buy a few, but I didn't do any um, thing, anything like I did for 2020. So it went very well. So as I'm talking, I hope you're observing that I am doing exactly what I said before around the perimeter and edges of these sections so that the roots can get the deep conditioner. I always talk about, for me, this feels like a virgin relaxer. If you remember when you got your very first relaxer, how we put it on from root to end and took off these little tiny, tiny sections to make sure every little bit got the relax on it. That is how I treat deep conditioner. Does that mean I go through quite a bit of it? Yes, it does. But it is the absolute, I still say, and I've been saying this for years, the best process you can do for healthy hair, period, period. And if you want to know why that is, I could do an entire other video on why that is the case. But if you've been, did I do this section, y'all? Okay, I must confess this was a section of my hair that, that I did not rinse out the rinse out conditioner when I was in the shower. I had been in there so long. I was so tired that I forgot to rinse this section out. But do you think I'm about to rinse it out now? No, ma'am. It is the detangling conditioner from um, Oh my gosh, I can see the name brand is right on the tip of my dog. Um, what is it? Rooted Royalty. Rooted Royalty. I did do this one. Uh, Root is the detangling conditioner from Rooted Royalty, which is so nice and detangling. So soft and slippery. Um, when I have not done my hair in a while, like I did this time, I always go for products that provide the absolute top-notch moisture, uh, softness and definitely detangling because you know how tangled that hair is going to be in there for those weeks. So I am going to keep that right in there and treat it in this session, section, uh, in this wash session, like it is a uh, deep conditioner. It already feels wonderful. I'm just pulling the shed hairs out as I am um, fooling with it as I am rubbing through it. So I remember it being such a nice detangling rinse out when I used it before. I said I wanted to try it as a deep conditioner for that reason. So I'm doing that this time by accident. I did not realize that I'd left it in there, but I'm gonna leave it in. I'm gonna put my plastic cap back on. I'm going back under my uh, heat source for about 20 minutes and I'm gonna come and rinse this out. I'm going to tell you how it did and by then maybe I would have chosen a uh, product to use. So hang on, we'll see.